Hi and welcome back to another new world video. Today I'm going to cover some of the mistakes that I made when starting. So if you're returning or starting to the game, you do not make the same mistakes. If you like this sort of stuff or you want to see more content, please like and subscribe and we'll get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to touch on is leveling. People have this obsession with getting to level 60 thinking there's some sort of magical way to do it even faster than the next person. The truth is, the quickest way to do it is stick to the storyline. Doing side quests sometimes do not give you an advantage. Faction quests can sometimes help, especially if you're doing the expeditions. You can do both of them together just to get that little boost of double XP. But personally, I found that the best way to do any XP farming was to focus on the quests themselves. It's come a long way since you first played, if you played it back on launch. Quests are a lot more rewarding, especially with the new 1 to 25 leveling, which is coming in with the new update. It's going to be even quicker to do. So don't try and think of some mathematical algorithm that's going to help you better. Trust me, doing fashion quests and the normal quest line is probably and most definitely the best way to do it. Now next, I'm going to talk about gear. A lot of people go to the marketplace as soon as they're able to use the next tier of gear and just splash out all their gold on gear. Do not do that, honestly. From level 1 to 60, your gear matters but not as much as you think, especially if you're doing a lot of these areas as a group. You won't have to worry too much about it. Yes, don't run about in tier 1 gear for the full game until you get to level 60, but use some of the drops that you get and a lot of the quests actually give you items as well. Separate to that, which I'll touch on companies in a second, if you are in a company and you have a crafter in the company, ask him to craft you something, get him the materials and just pay him a small price for doing it. This happens quite a lot, a lot of people don't interact in that way, but it does actually happen. Now, companies in general, these are an organisation within the game of groups of players who band together to do quests, help each other have their own little chat in game a lot of them have discords as well you can arrange chess runs crafting just general help the one thing i didn't do is join a company to very late on because i didn't really think it was necessary but once i did i understood that yes i probably should have done this a lot quicker now companies are very important you will not be able to join the elite company that's running around taking all the factions but to be honest unless you are really really 100 percent committed you probably don't want to at first join a company which has a fair number of people roughly around your level as well and it just allows you to ask those silly questions and ask for help in certain things because people always come to help companies are good for that you will get bad companies but if you find that it is not to your expectations just leave and join another one next i'm going to touch on professions now in your world there's a lot of skills to gain I would focus on two or three at a time. I personally chose mining, stone cutting, and arcania simply because they all tie into each other. Because if, when I cut, when I'm mining, I'm getting stones, then obviously through all the mining I'm doing, I'm getting my smelter up as well. It just, it works. Do not try and be a jack of all trades and a master of none because you'll just find yourself in a very mid-balanced range. Personally, I'm a bit biased, but I'd say definitely look at mining because it opens up another load of doors. But if you want to become an armorer, etc., focus on that. But look into what other skills tie in with that as well, because you're going to have to make sure that you level them up at the same time. So seriously think it out before you start focusing on one thing, because that could be great, master on one thing, but you could lack in other areas, meaning you can't actually craft the high tier items you want to craft. Next, I'm going to touch on gold. You do not get a lot of gold for doing a lot of the quest lines. You do get a lot of gold for continuously doing things in the game. It's a small amount, but it quickly adds up. What I'd suggest to do is work out a path of what you want to do. I didn't spend a lot of gold until I reached level 60 and bought myself some legendary kit. I would definitely invest in bags. Don't invest too much in the earlier bags. You want to tier one, tier two, don't want to go too high when you get to the tier 5 then into legendary when brimstone sands hits then you want to invest properly in bags you're going to grow that quick and be able to have that many different items just using your storage for stuff like bags will save you a lot of gold in the long run now 
once you're farming and if you're mining etc don't think just sell it straight away to the lowest person try and get the best amount that you can because gold is going to become important to you later as you try to get to higher tier dungeons and stuff and you want to get potions certain foods certain equipment you're going to have to use that gold even if you're in a company they're going to charge you a little amount for it but you're going to have to spend a lot also if you have houses you have to pay the rent on them as well gold is very sparse so make sure you spend it sparingly finally i'm going to touch on loot do not be a loot goblin do not try and keep every single thing you get a lot of the stuff you're going to get is junk use that keep it in a storage locker and when you have to repair your items salvage it back down to put your repair parts back up to the maximum honestly i add storage lockers full of absolute junk when i look back now i just think why did i keep that crap this is very important because your storage lockers are key especially if you're going to go down the market route and try and do as much as you can in the markets you want to have storage lockers separated for each items i have one for my mining kit one for my food one for my weaving one for my armor and just so on and so on you'll quickly find that those will fill up quite quick so make sure you use it properly do not hoard absolute rubbish you will not need it check in the market see if it's valuable or if it isn't salvage it there and then do not waste space the more space you waste the less stuff you can actually keep and there you go that is the best tips i think i can give for anyone leveling from the 1 to 60 range i came back to the game probably about three months ago and came in with the same mindset that i had when i first started of how i was going to play but quickly realized that i had to change that and adopt to what i do now to make sure i can maximize my time efficiently and efficiently in the game as well get a routine in place if you can some days i won't even do an elite run i'll just do my gypsum orbs every day then i'll go farming for the day then shut back off check companies see if there's any wars in town try and plan around that stops the game from being stale if you just keep doing your repeated tasks all the time you'll quickly get bored new world has dramatically changed hugely changed i'd probably buried the game a year ago when it released thinking this won't work but where it is now is exciting very exciting it's come leaps and bounds i urge you if you're thinking about trying it to definitely try it it takes a lot for me to actually get back in or into a game and this has just got me hooked dramatically so thanks for stopping by and i'll catch you in the next one